And this is the timing cover off of a um, Mercruiser 417. Okay, now there's three seals in here. This is the front main oil seal. This is the water pump seal here. This is the inside of the water pump housing. Okay, and that is the camshaft oil seal just there. So there's two seals in that in that hole there. There's two seals. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change these seals. So look, there's the, the one and then there's two. And they're two lip seals that go back to back in this hole. Okay, it's very important to put lip seals in the right way, okay? Think of it as a cup. See, this is the cup. Then fluid is on that side, okay? So that is the outside, okay? So we're gonna knock this seal out. I haven't got anything, any special tools to do this. This is just a plastic pipe fitting, a whack with the old trusty hammer and out it comes. And then, so you can get that, chuck that in the bin. Then we're going to do exactly the same with the two camshaft seals. This um, is a socket that fits it nicely. Whack with the hammer. And then that pushes both the seals out onto the bench underneath it. And there you go. Two seals. Now there's two seals in that camshaft piece there because there's a, um, a drilling in between the two seals which goes to a weep hole on the outside of the timing cover so if the water pump seal ever goes then you get a leak on the outside of the timing cover just below the water pump this stops any water leaking straight into your sump into the oil and you're just going to give that a wipe round i've put in the front main oil seal and i've put in the rear camshaft oil seal now i've got a socket it's just slightly bigger than the camshaft water pump seal and i'm gonna knock that seal in so the front of the seal is flush with the front of the housing this gives a gap in between the camshaft oil seal and the camshaft water pump seal okay uh, in like I say in between this gap is where the drilling is for the weep hole so if the water pump seal goes the water just leaks out the bottom of the water pump housing not into the oil and it's important you get these seals in the right way round like I say the lip of the seal always faces the fluid okay so that's so just gonna knock that in so that that seal fits in flush with the housing okay i could have made sort of threaded bar pullers and stuff but just grabbed a socket and a hammer because that's what i had to hand and there you go nice and flush now in the bottom of the housing is this 7 16 drain bomb what this is for is so that if you when you remove this if you're sort of want maintenance purposes or storing your boat over the winter you're worried about frost damage this um drain bung drains the water at the bottom of the water pump okay now this is important especially if you want to protect it against frost damage because if you don't do this the water pump stays half full of water if it freezes it will just crack that casing it's just aluminium mine's blocked okay you can see there a pile of dust on the bench it's just come out of it it is it is absolutely rammed solid in there to the point that i've had to get a drill drill bit the right size get me drill and bore it out again okay now this was just packed so get my rod through there now so i've got a hole through there now okay Get a bit of solvent spray, give that a spray, blow all the crap out of it. You see all the crap come out now, all that black gunk. Get a brush. This just cleans out all the threads in the hole and everything. Now, once you've done that, you get your bung, 716 spanner, and just give that puppy a nip back up. Okay? Remember, that is the, the drain bung for the water pump. Okay? Important to remember that. Now this is the end of the crankshaft, where this is where the front pulley runs. 
This is the end of the camshaft. And in here is where the impeller for the water pump fits. Okay, that's a locating dowel for the timing cover. That's another locating dowel for the timing cover. So you're gonna get a bit of grease and we're gonna put this on the end of the camshaft. Okay, this is just to sort of lubricate it and help those two lip seals slide on. If you notice, I'm not putting any on the end of the crankshaft because the seal of the crankshaft seals on the inside of the front pulley. So I'm gonna put a bit of grease on the seals and then just get that timing cover and gently slide it over the end of the camshaft. Try and make sure you don't damage those seals, just pop it on. Okay, and I'm gonna hold the gasket in place. Get some bolts. And just run them in. You haven't got to tighten them up at this point. Just run them in, just hold everything in place. So you know that the gasket's in place and the timing cover's in place. So it all lines up with those two dowels. And then once you've got enough bolts in that you're happy, that everything is all in line and you'll get your timing cover and just gently push it onto those dowels okay now just gently push it on bit of a rock all lined up and it will start and it will just pop onto those dowels okay if you need to when you know it started on the dowels you could gently tap it home with the stale of a hammer nothing massive because it's it's just an aluminium casing if you go at this with a hammer you stand a good chance of cracking it okay so once you've got it and you're happy with it just nip up all the bolts on the timing cover which are not the ones that hold the water pump cover on now there's some bolts in the water cup water pump cover which go all the way through the timing cover into the engine block but you'll fit those after you've fitted the water pump impeller okay so you just give all these bolts on the outside of the timing cover a nip up and then you get your water pump and then you're going to clean out the end of the camshaft clean up the thread on the water pump impeller and we're going to use a little bit of loctite on this thread because obviously this bolt goes into a spinning shaft and the spinning shaft and forces of momentum will encourage this to undo that is also why it's a left hand thread this is more that the force of momentum from the engine stopping and starting will actually make that water pump go tighter on the shaft. Okay, so like I say, it's a left hand thread. So left hand to tighten it up, anti-clockwise tighten it up. Okay, so this water pump, like I say, is directly on the end of the camshaft. So when you go to nip it up, the engine will turn over obviously so it turns over nice and free so i've got to get a hammer wedge it in the crankcase against the crank just drop that down so the crank turns against it and just so that i can give that water pump a real good nip this is when you don't want to come loose bear in mind you don't want to over tighten it but it don't want to come loose okay so now we're putting on the water pump cover okay this is basically the last part of putting the timing cover and water pump back together on this engine okay so we're going to get all the bolts to that spin them in nip it up and then we're sort of getting a bit closer okay so the next thing i should be putting on is be the sump and the water pump so just like to say thank you very much for watching um if this is any interest of you let me know with a comment um, yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. give us a, a thumbs up if you like it and uh, subscribe because I'm going to try and do a few more of these videos and you'll be let known when they come out. Thanks a lot. Bye.